Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. I'm inside the lab here, and Brendan just posted and sent me a survey that he did on YouTube, uh, Brendan with Be Better Golf. Still, people believe that the power comes from the hips. Now, it's not the golfer's fault. They've been told by practically every teacher out there that this is where the speed comes from, and you read it all the time. But unfortunately, it's just not the truth. And the research that I've read and that other people have done just has validated that speed does not come from the hips and it actually can create some extra torque on your lumbar spine, which is not good. And for example, when I was working with Jeff Flagg here, his posters up in the back, when he won the World Long Drive Championship, we never talked about hip speed because we worked on the arm speed, knowing that the hips were always going to be ahead of the arms. And from a kinematic standpoint, that always happens. You throw a ball, the body's always leading the arms, and we want that. But that's not what happens internally from a motor control standpoint. So when golfers then try to apply this hip motion to create speed, one of the things that ends up happening is they get up to the top, and all of a sudden they're trying to push, and the first thing you see is that club coming over the top because that inside path of the hips and the body is much shorter radius, much shorter distance to travel than what the arms and the club have to do. So I'll use something like this with my students that kind of have issues with that, where we get up to the top, and from there, they can work their arms down and through. And the faster we can get those arms moving, that gives us a better path into the ball. It also takes a lot less stress off the body. So don't worry about the hips creating the speed. They just don't do it. There's been enough research on it, and hopefully that will disappear one day as much as like keeping your head down. That doesn't mean anything anyhow. So to kind of help you with your golf swing, how do we get that little extra speed? Is the faster those arms can move, then the faster the body can move. It's kind of like sprinting. If I want to run real fast, I'm going to go and get my arms pumping as fast as I can so I can move my legs faster. Same thing applies to the golf swing. Faster my arms go, faster my body can go. That coordination a proper sequence with the arms and the body is what creates your club head speed. Thanks for watching. If you want more of the research and see why uh, that type of mechanism doesn't work, come and join us inside the lab and you'll get the true answers to how to improve your golf game. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. It's halfway down. So basically I'm feeling like my left arm is dropping down my chest as I stay closed to the target. That does a couple of things for me. It helps my rhythm, it keeps me very patient off the top of the backswing, and also it helps me keep a little bit of lag, a little bit of angle as I come down into the ball. One of my faults is when I get a little bit quick and I unwind too early, and when that happens I have to hit the brakes essentially and wait for the club to fall into the hitting zone, and hence I have to time impact so much more, and I end up actually losing the face through impact. But when I make this move, I really wait for it. Now I put myself in a position where I have to turn very aggressively through impact. So I can pivot much faster, much harder, much more powerfully, and that actually stabilizes the face through the hitting area.